Hey, so recently a minor version of Laravel 9.x has been released and with this release introduce a new feature called blade fragments. So in this uh, short video I'm going to explain what are blade fragments and how can we use uh, these in our Laravel applications. So let me pull open my editor and here if you can see I am using this Laravel application to test new Laravel features and let me quickly show you the Laravel version that I'm using currently so version so I'm using 9.39.0 so this is the version that basically comes with uh, blade fragments now over here I have defined a view called uh, or a route called home and uh, I'm returning a view from this route called home and now let me open this view so this is the view and I'm just rendering a simple HTML from this uh, view now let me run this so I'm spinning up a local server over here. Let me copy this. And over here we'll use home. Okay, so see this is simple. It has just rendered the home view over here. So this is fine. But let's say if I want to render something specific from this view let's say i just want to render this particular view over here what can we do or how can we do it up until now there wasn't a way to do it but from this particular release we have a new directive called fragment so we can use a new this new directive called fragment like this and we need to specify the name of this fragment called let's say dialog so I'm giving a name called dialog and we need to end this fragment. So end fragment. Okay. Now we have defined this fragment. Now if we want to uh, use this uh, fragment to render uh, only this fragment from the view, we need to go back and over here, we can use a new uh, method called fragment and we need to specify the name of the fragment that we want to render so over here in this case we will use dialog like this now if we run it it has only rendered that uh, specific uh, fragment that we have defined over here okay so it has ignored all of this even the parent layout as well it has uh, it has ignored everything and it has only rendered this particular part now to prove my point i will just uh, specify a class over here let's say dialog and if i uh, run it and uh, show this in these uh, developer tools you can see it has only rendered uh, this specific div if i go back to web and if i remove it run it yeah we are back to normal now and it has rendered the entire view with the dialog uh, fragment inside it now one interesting that thing that i i have noticed is uh, you can also use uh, nested fragments so let's say i have defined a new fragment called uh, nested dialog and let's say i'm using this element called this is a nested fragment and i'm going to end this fragment and now if i go back and use this uh, nested fragment like this yeah so it has only rendered that nested fragment so this is this is pretty powerful in my opinion because you are also able to uh, render the nested fragments as well now uh, there is one more uh, good thing about this is even if you specify a wrong name or, or a name which is not related to any fragment let's say something like this in that case it will render the entire view uh, uh, without leaving you with an error so that is uh, pretty handy and uh, in my opinion pretty robust so this is how you can use uh, blade fragments in laravel now according to the pr uh, owner over here as he has specified fragments should only be used as a way to extract a portion of a view 
and it shouldn't be used as an alternative to uh, laravel components or components uh, as a whole so that is one thing that we need to keep in mind while using fragments now you might be wondering in which cases uh, these fragments can come in handy so uh, he has also uh, mentioned it over here so we can use these fragments in cases where we are using a javascript frameworks like turbo employ htmx or pjx so these frameworks comes with uh, their own fragment implementation so here in this case htmx comes with uh, their fragments uh, implementation where we can specify this hx target directive and specify the the fragment uh, inside uh, this uh, hx target so if we are using something like this in our blade template or uh, layout uh, this uh, new blade directive can come in handy uh, in certain scenarios so yeah that's about it uh, there's uh, this is all about uh, the blade fragments that has been introduced in new uh, version of laravel i hope you like this video video and if you do uh, consider subscribing to my channel and uh, yeah i will see you in the next